CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Biology Experiment No. 2 Pollen Germination on Stigma 2.1 To study the pollen grain germination on stigma through a permanent slide Aim To study the pollen grain germination on stigma through a permanent slide Materials Required An opened mature flower of patulaka glass slide needles cover slip saffron and stain dissected microscope compound microscope and glycerin Procedure The pollen grains on microscopes are haploids and represent first cell of the male gametophyte They show great variations in shape, size, and sculpting. These features are helpful in the study of pollen grains and is called as palynology. Take out a pistil from a fresh, open, mature flower of Portulaca or any other different plant. Stain the isolated stigma with saffron and stain. Mount the stained stigma in glycerin and place a cover slip over it. Observe the slide under the dissecting microscope. With the help of a needle, take out germinating pollen and mount it in glycerin and place a cover slip. Place the slide under microscope. Observations: Many pollen grains are present over the stigma. Pollen grains absorb water and other substances such as sugar and organic acid secreted by stigma. Observe many pollen grains germinating over the stigma. The thin intine protrudes out through a germ pore into a slender pollen tube. Sugary substances secreted by the stigmas stimulate further growth of the pollen tube which gradually elongates passes the style enters the ovary and finally in the ovule The pollen tube acts as a sperm carrier as well as the hostorial organ Pollen tubes carries with it vegetative or tube nucleus into its tip followed by generative nucleus The generative nucleus gives rise to two male gametes result as the pollen tube passes through the style it reaches to the ovule and carries the two male gametes